future Jurassic expert here, uh, just a disclaimer for this vlog video. Uh, this was pre-COVID-19, so there was no need for social distancing or anything like that. So I'm being responsible with keeping a good social distance and all that. But I'm just really irresponsible when it comes to uploading stuff. Not late. <laughs> so uh, let's go on with the vlog. Hello, this is the Jurassic Expert here, back with another vlog video while I'm out here in Indiana with family. Uh, I'm probably long gone from Indiana by the by the time this video by the time this video gets out. I mean, I actually haven't even started editing my Rise of Skywalker review. But you yeah, know, uh, I wanted to record this. I've been doing a lot of cool dinosaur stuff, and as you can see here at Jock Rocks, they have fossils. So let's see what they got inside.
Okay, and we are back at uh, home. Uh, my iPad actually ran out of storage, so I didn't necessarily get to film everything that I wanted in the store. But yeah, that was Jock's Rocks. Really cool. It was a really cool place. They had a lot of good specimens, uh, and the staff was really friendly. So yeah, um, also, because it as of making this video and hopefully uploaded by Earth Day. So yeah, happy Earth Day. This is also kind of doubling as an Earth Day special because uh, I don't think I've never done this where I've actually kind of revealed fossils that I've gotten uh, from a shop. And what better way to promote conservation than to bring up species from long ago that have gone extinct. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get into it. Let's go in with the smaller bag here. So, this is the barb of a stingray from Florida. So, yeah. And if any of you are wondering, yes, this is perfectly legal. <laughs> I want to make this clear it is only illegal to have fossils. If A, they are not scientifically significant, and B, you didn't take them off of state property. So, yeah, let's go on with this. And here we have a sea cow rib. So, yeah, also from Florida. Really good chunk of sea cow rib there. And yeah, I just want to also say that this has been, it's currently March when I, in that last clip that you saw, that was around December. So it has been a good five, six months since that. <laughs> so this is the first time that I'm actually seeing these fossils since that past six months. Uh, but yeah, here we have a equ equus, a equus tooth which is pretty much a horse-like creature. So yeah, technically it's a horse tooth. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so this right here is a piece of a turtle shell. Uh, you can kind of see. What's this? Oh, okay, this is really cool. I, again, I, I've cl completely forgotten some of these things like this one here. This is really cool. This is an alligator fossil from Florida there. This is a little bit of deer bone. Um, possibly the vertebrate. So yeah, that, that's pretty cool. I was just bored with being in quarantine and all that, and I saw that it was Earth Day, and I didn't really know what to do, but I was like, oh, I had this idea, so I thought I'd kind of double it up as the finale for the Indianapolis vlogs and um, an Earth Day special. So, yeah. So it's a vlog and an opening. Here is a Titanothere bone, which is kind of a rhinoceros-like animal. So that was really cool to find that. Um, oh, there's a receipt for this one. Okay, I'm going to save this for last. Because that, I think a couple of you might flip out over. This big chunk of fossil there is a random dinosaur fossil. Uh, I got it because it was a nice huge chunk. And if... I am correct, let me get its little box, its little display box. It is from the Morris information, and it is a Jurassic fossil. So who knows, maybe on some miraculous uh, turn of events, I'm holding an allosaur bone. I highly doubt that, but yeah, so that was cool. And... Get that bag out of the way. Here is the finale. Hang on. Let's get you guys a good shot of me 
undoing the wrap there. They packaged this really well. Okay, so this is a partial Mastodon tooth. Got it only for 25 bucks. So, you know, uh, in my area, I don't get a whole lot of land. I don't, I'm not able to get any land fauna fossils. So I can't, I don't exactly have the opportunity to get a randomly assorted dinosaur. Well, actually, yeah, I can. That's kind of the easiest one to get is randomly assorted dinosaur fossil. But uh, the area where I live, it was completely underwater during the time of the dinosaurs. Kind of still underwater during the uh, Pleist early Pleistocene. So... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of marine fossils and all that, which is still really cool. So I do get the opportunity to, to uh, see at like rock shops and stuff. I get uh, the opportunity to buy Mosasaur teeth, no Megalodon teeth, um, but random shark teeth and trilobites and ammonites. So I get a lot of the marine fossils, which are still really cool. But whenever I go out, I try to kind of steer away from those, and I try to find some of the larger megafauna, but I was really excited to get a Mastodon tooth. I know it's partial, but still is really cool to have a Mastodon tooth in my collection. Um, but yeah, let's, let's get everything that I got from Jock's Rocks out here. Let's do a little bit of a recap. We got a partial mama, mastodon, I mean, tooth. We got a random dinosaur bone, a stingray barb, a prehistoric horse-like animal tooth, a turtle shell, a sea cow fossil, <clears throat> and a uh, titanothere. a deer bone and finally an Amer an alligator fossil so yeah uh again i thought i did pretty well uh they had a lot of cool stuff in there near the end i found out that they had cave bear teeth but i kind of overspent on my budget <clears throat> so yeah um and we still needed enough money to go back home. So, yeah, I couldn't get a cave bear tooth. But next time I head out to Indianapolis, uh, I will definitely try to remember to get a cave bear tooth. I know this is probably coming out late even for a um, Earth Day special. Uh, ever since the pandemic happened, um, I kind of lost my sense of time. I mean, I have calendars and stuff, but it's just, I'm... I, I'm complete. my sense of time is completely thrown off, so there are a couple of videos where I have just completely forgotten, and then I'll go on my phone and I see a reminder, oh, time to record this, and then I'll be like, oh, dang it, <laughs> and then I have other, because I am working from home because I am considered a non-essential worker, and I do work on stuff other than YouTube, YouTube is more of a side project, so yeah, um, so even though we're all locked inside, we can't really go out to national parks to support conservation efforts. I'm pretty sure there are still a couple of sites that have online donations and all that. So yeah, make sure to donate, don't litter. Uh, yeah, so, <sighs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, Jocks Rocks had a lot of cool things in it. Uh, if any of you go happen to visit Indianapolis, Indiana, or you happen to live there, make sure to go check out Jocks Rocks, and that is Jocks with an X, and yeah, uh, if Jocks Rocks happens to watch this, the uh, people there, uh, thank you so much for letting me record, uh, and yeah, uh, I'd say this is a pretty good haul. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Which one of these fossils did you like the most? And as al that's going to have to do it for this video, guys. So, as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I put up new videos like this one. And as always, dinosaurs might be older than you, but you are never too old for dinosaurs. Bye-bye.